Hey guys, Joe from Eastwood. In this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at the Eastwood Hydraulic Tubing Flaring Tool Set. This is going to be a great option for the amateur at home, all the way up to the professional that's looking for a kit that easily makes flares in hardline. This is capable of doing a ton of different styles and sizes of flare. It's also built to a reasonably small size, so it's capable of making flares even when you're working with lines that are already on the car. So how does something like this work? Well, it's very simple. The female dies hold your line in the yolk and the little hydraulic jack is going to push the male die into the tubing to create your flare. Very simple and easy to do. I'll walk you through how to do it later on in the video. But first, let's talk about some of the benefits and what this can do. This tool is capable of perfectly forming the most common 45 degree single or double flares in a wide variety of sizes of tubing. 3 16 quarter, 5 16 3 8 and half an inch. It's also capable of some of the less common bubble flares in sizes ranging from 4.75 to 10 millimeters. There's even dies for push connect style flares in quarter, 5 16 3 8 and half an inch, as well as GM style fuel line flares in 5 16 3 8 and half an inch. Everything that you get comes labeled. All the dies, both male and female, have their sizes laser engraved on the side, and they're all organized in a very nice blow molded case that is clearly labeled with the sizes and operation number for each die. A big advantage of using something like this is it's kind of built into a straight line. Everything is built into that one profile, and it's going to be packaged to be relatively tight. Not only does this work great off the car, as you'll see us demonstrate in just a minute, but since this is so small, you can still do flares in some tight spots as well. If you're working with brake lines, fuel lines, or transmission lines on the car already, you can still pull off all these flares with little to no hassle at all. Everything in this kit is built really nicely as well, and that really shines through. Eastwood even backs this with a one-year warranty. So now that we've gone through how this thing works, let me show you exactly how this is going to go. So let's grab some tube and we'll get to it. All right, so we have everything laid out here for you. Basically, the flaring tool just all screws together, the yoke, the jack itself, this handle, and this guy just slides right into our clamping pin. Um, we're going to be doing a double flare in some 3 16 inch tubing. As you can see, prep work for the tube. Pretty simple. You want to make sure it's nice and straight. Eastwood tubing straightener for that. You also want to make sure that it's cut correctly. Don't use a hacksaw. The Eastwood professional tubing cutter is a great option to get that nice cut up there. You can also see that it's deburred inside and outside. Eastwood deburring tool is great to get that edge. And um, that is going to be what you need for a good flare. So let's dive into this. We're going to get this nice and lubricated here. Just dip that in the dye like so. That might be a little much, but no big deal. And then we're going to put this right into the female dye like that and insert it into the yolk. Now, we're just going to get this finger tight for right now because what we have in here is the Operation Zero dye. This is just going to be a flat surface and it's going to level everything out and make sure that the tube is at the right spot to be flared. We're going to get that nice and snug, and then we could clamp down all the way in the yolk. And we're going to make sure that's nice and tight. And we can release pressure on operation zero and move on to operation one. And make sure we close the jack. And we're just going to apply some pressure on there. You'll feel it when it bottoms out. It's going to give you some fight, of course, when you're flaring the tube. But that's about bottomed out. Then we can release pressure and move on to operation two. Close the jack again and give that some pumps. And again, it's just going to put up a little bit of a fight until you bottom out. You'll feel it. We can loosen that up, get rid of the die, and let's see what we got.
So pretty good looking double flare, pretty simple to use this thing and you're going to be able to get that every single time.